Wow, there's even more. Hi. There's a thing. Sam, this skull was the coolest thing I found in Mexico. And it was like three bucks. American. I love it. Merry Xmas. Miss you. L. Treasure it always. I don't see the skull. Oh, it's out there. It's the one that I, it's that green one. Okay. What's this suitcase up here? Hmm. Excuse me. Mom's purse. Didn't I already pick up mom's purse? She has another purse? Take care of our forests. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, Jan. I got two tickets for Earth, Wind, and Fire on Thursday, but my girlfriend says she doesn't want to go. Her taste in music rears its ugly head again. So that leaves me with an extra ticket that I thought you might be interested in. More... More fun than clearing brush in the freezing rain, right? Rick. Alright, there's definitely something going on there. They wouldn't go to all this trouble to establish the Rick Janice relationship if there wasn't an affair happening. Can I help you, linen closet? And dishes closet? For some reason, they're together? Okay. Oh, look, it's the zine. This is still issue number one, it's just an extra, extra copy. Disciplinary referral! April 21st, 1995. Distributing inappropriate materials on school grounds. Oh, for her zine. Phone call to students' parents. Out of school suspension. Ooh, an out of school suspension? Are you serious? Oh, because it was... Oh, no, wait. The teacher. Oh. Huh. Oh, crap. Well, you're gonna have to, uh... Encounter... Um... Principal, uh... What's his name? Grossman. Galaxy! <laughs> That's a Sharpie, uh, knockoff. That's the off-brand Sharpie. Read letter. First off, congratulations! Janice Greenbrier, Regional Director. And I say congratulations because, come on, you're going to take the job, right? What are you waiting for? An engraved invitation? Call them back. She's not going to take it because that means moving further away from Ranger Rick. But in the meantime, let's discuss this little outing you had with our favorite flannel-clad hunk. What a blast, but you sound like you're reading a lot into an instant night out. You're sure there's something there? You said he has an out-of-town girlfriend. You're sure they're not serious? Okay. So we have to figure out when we'll see each other next in person. Enough with the letters. I owe you a congratulatory margarita, boss lady. Soon. Carol, don't enable her to have an affair. What a terrible friend. Your your friend is not for your entertainment. She is it's she's not like watching Jersey Shore. She's you're supposed to help her make good decisions. Don't give up on this, honey. Aw, oh, the accidental warrior. Hmm. Terry's a derp, but... He needs to follow his dreams, you know what I'm saying? Another one of the postcards. Okay, great. Hi, Mom, Dad, and Sam. This is the only time Katie gets the spotlight in this game. The Vatican is weird. As you can see, the Catholic Church still has a lot of money left over from the Middle Ages. Yeah. Wow. I've gotten to see all the art, including the Sistine Chapel ceiling and the sculptures by Michelangelo, Donatello, and the rest of the Ninja Turtles. It's actually Michelangelo, not Michelangelo. Mom, we'll have to come back together. I would love to be here with someone who really appreciates the history behind everything. Also, Sam, they have various relics as in pieces of important dead people, so you should probably come too. Next stop, Barcelona. Calm down, Dad. I won't get gored by a bull. Probably. Love, Katie. God. No butts in heaven. <laughs> Katie, you're funny. No one read your postcards, apparently. They just left them on the kitchen table. Okay, so... Alright, so this... Right. We've, we've done that. Okay. I can't see anything outside.
Where is everybody? Seriously. Okay, there's another cassette in here, I guess. Get it! Do I really want to do this? God, this is the scariest part of this game. That was about what I expected. Oh, nice. You can take cups, you can throw them around, yeah! Um, okay. It's a, it's a thing. Pastries with ease. Pies, quick and easy. Cooking low fat for the whole family. Aha! Samantha and Daniel were in the woods one day. It was sunny, and they were in an a advent adventures at Ad Aventhers. I have no idea Aventher, but they went to the bad part of the woods, and it got dark. Danny said, "Are you scared?" So Samantha said, "No. Are you?" They and. What? more into the bad part and then they went to a part there was never there before and there was a ship a pirate ship on an ocean Samantha said I'll be the captain and be and you be the first mate Daniel said I I captain and they went on the pirate ship and started sailing away Daniel finally came over to get his game I'd been dreading it but he brought this story with him that I wrote when we were little. I started reading it. And then there I was, crying at the kitchen table. He asked what was wrong, and I was thinking about how we used to be friends, how much I take him for granted. But instead, I told him about school, and Dad, and Lonnie. And then how sorry I was that I wasn't his friend anymore. He gave me a hug and said it was going to be okay. For some reason, I almost believed him. All right, getting a little bit angsty for my taste, but okay, this is, I know I skipped it, sorry. Notice how she's facing away from him. <laughs> and he's like fascinated with her, I don't know. Mr. and Mrs. Jonathan Blair. Request the honor of your presence at the marriage of their daughter, Helen Margaret, to Mr. Richard Morris Patermach. Okay. I recognize those names. I can't remember from what. We've read so many things. Same schedule, working at Crown Burger on Bethel Road. Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, seven or 3 to 7 p.m. Saturday, 12 to 6. Nice. So you have Tuesdays off and Sundays. That's good. Oh, look. I can unrefrigerate all these things. Just want to make sure there's nothing behind them. Cola! Used by... 605.95. So... I wonder if this milk is spoiled. <laughs> okay. You need to calm down out there. Any notes in the fridge? Huh? Ah, oh, there's a banana. Probably rotten. Don't refrigerate bananas. I don't refrigerate bananas. Does, do people actually do that? I wasn't aware of... Because then they get cold and weird. You gotta leave them out at room temperature. Okay, great. What happened here? Huh. Okay. Kitchen. Hippos. <laughs> it's funny. Where do they get all this stock, this stock stuff? Is this an actual maze? Oh, and it worked. You worked your way through. Okay. Um, let me look around carefully for a note. 
I don't see one. There's a there's a broom. Clean sweep. All right. Anything? Congratulations on your new position. Okay, so she did accept. I write to congratulate you on your new position as regional conservation director. Blah 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 blah. blah. Your new desk in the state forestry office at 8 a.m. on May 1st. So she she did leave Ranger Rick. So, huh. Interesting. Let's look at this calendar. So this is June 1995. Katie comes home this month. All right. And we'll, we'll call with exact date. Well, she came back early. Um, actually, June 6th, 1995. So I, she came back on the 6th, right there. Oh, they're gone on their anniversary trip. Rick's wedding, can't make it, send regrets. Mm. Hmm. She cut off ties with him. Dentist, Sam. Okay, ah, damn it. You really, forest something, trail, hike, exam, I don't know. Church something. Oh, I forgot I can zoom in. Cushing Elementary Public Areas Cleanup. Church Potluck. Scalloped Potatoes. Okay. Charity Junk Pickup. Basement. Hmm. Okay, great. So... This is the garage. The accurate, the accidental pariah. Oh my god. It's funny. Wait, what was the unknown dimension? I wonder how many notes I've missed just because I haven't been picking things up and looking behind them much. Dear Mr. Greenbrier, first let me say that I hope this missive finds you well. Hell, it feels like a goddamn miracle that it finds you at all. Do you know how long we've been trying to track you down? Worry not, we aren't the feds, the men in black, or any other sort of creeping fascist hobgoblins. In fact, we're on your side. Let me start from the beginning. Wow, this is March 28th, 1995. Wow. Unknown Dimension is what you might call a specialist publishing house. We traffic in the weird. The ahead of its time, the lost but not forgotten by a small but dedicated group of plugged-in bibliophiles type of out there mass market shunning visionary expression that refuses to be taken on anything but its own terms. We've had an unparalleled run since our inception four years ago, unearthing and reviving Christ or zombie-like timeless works such as N.N. Bestman's Message of the Snake Men, It's Inside Me by Jens Keller and Emil Krieger's oft-band Ven 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 Venusian God, how do you pronounce that? Venusian why can't I do it? Venus. Venusian. Flesh traders. I don't know. But ever since we discovered tattered copies of your accidental series at a church rummage sale in Long Branch, New Jersey, we've been trying to track down the author of this weird and dark American outsider art. It's just the kind of forgotten portal into 20th century civilization's anxieties and delusions that our readers lose their minds over. James Bond and Harrison Ford might be the dick-swinging heroes that modern suburban America... Once, but John Russell, mild-mannered insurance agent by day, reckless history-revising sociopath by night, is the twisted peacekeeper that it deserves. It is our mission to bring him back to life. Okay, so I've typed plenty. What do we want from you? We want your permission to reprint the work since your original publisher, Mercury Books, folded a decade ago. We want you to supply a new forward for the books to appear in brand new editions of The Accidental Savior and The Accidental Pariah, to be produced by Unknown Dimension as a limited run and marketed directly to our highly discerning customer base. And we want to offer you a portion of the proceeds. Contract to follow, assuming you're interested in coming along with us in this weird odyssey. We look forward... There's a dollar sign there. We look forward to embarking with you and to thrusting your work screaming back into the sweating palms of an unsuspecting American public. It's about time. Blast off! Medish Kaczynski. Hmm. Newark, New Jersey. Well, good for you. Your book got picked up. Oh. 
Sam, your mother and I will be away for a long weekend celebrating our anniversary, June 3rd through 7th. We will be camping in the gorge, but we will give you a call on the way home. Sorry the kitchen is still mid-renovation. Never trust a contractor. $40 is on the table to order pizza while we're gone. Be good, Dad. Hmm. Hmm. ROTC. I asked Lonnie what she had to do to get ready to ship out for basic training. She said, not a lot, really. You're not allowed to bring anything with you. You have no possessions. No contact with the outside world while you're in basic. You just train hard every day, and then you deploy from there. So, they'll just send her away. To who knows where. The other side of the country. The other side of the world. My mind, like, can't process it. She's really going to be gone. Just gone. Crown Burger. Ask me about clown combos. Wait, why is it called Crown Burger if there's a clown? What? That makes no sense. Alright, so I haven't been out to the greenhouse yet, and I think that's the only place I haven't been. Hello? Is there... I know we need to get into the attic. That seems to be the final area of the game, if I'm not mistaken. But I haven't seen anything. All right, all right. Greenhouse, there's a greenhouse outside. How can we get to it? I haven't gone this way yet. Oh, oh look, booted out. A going away show for Lonnie D, Girl Scout. Last show ever, all ages, Saturday, June 3rd, The Tonic, $3. Lonnie had her going away show with her band tonight. She's so incredible on stage. When she was singing, I could practically forget everything. That we only had 48 hours left. That I don't know what comes next. That I can't live without her. Then she dedicated the last song to me. I couldn't take it. I was out on the curb in the alley, sobbing till my ribs hurt. I would follow her anywhere, Katie. But I can't. Where she's going. After a long time, she found me. She said she was sorry. She said, I wish things could be different. I just wanted to make you happy. I said, I don't think you can anymore. Hmm. Let's read another cheery postcard from Katie. Hi, Mom, Dad, and Sam. I have had a wonderful time on the beaches of Barcelona. Dad and Sam, I think you would like the gaudy architecture. It is from a strange alien world. I am headed to my final destination, Amsterdam. For how long? That depends. I am running low on money. I will look for a cheap standby ticket and call you when I'm headed home. Sorry for the short notice. Can't wait to see you all again. It'll be good to be home. Will it, Katie? Are you having fun so far? Here's an idea, Lonnie. Why don't you just not do basic training? Why are you doing that? There hasn't really been... Any explanation for why she's doing basic training? Home cook. Easy family meals. Pizza on a weeknight? Yes! What to do with leftovers? You eat them! That's a simple solution. Hello. Cleansing powder. Hand soap. Sparkle. Green apple. Green apple. Come on. You know what's a travesty? Green apple Skittles. What the hell is that all about? Bring back Lime! I await your glorious return, Lime. Do you believe in Lime Skittles? Well, please accept them into your heart. You want to be ready when they return, don't you? Hello? 
There's detergent in here. Yeah, I'm turning on all the lights because why not? Hmm. We'll open the door in a second. Oh, that's a sock down there. Can you... There's a, there's a note. I found it. I found the note. Get the note. <sighs> Sam, this is really intrusive, by the way. I wish I knew how to explain it better. The army is this thing I grew up with. It's part of me. My dad's army friends are like family. I've always known it was where I'd end up. I never thought of it any other way. I wish things could be different. Maybe someday when I'm settled at a base and you're done with college and you're a famous writer and I can rebuild a tank engine with my eyes closed, things will be different and we can be together. Until then, L. Well, that's not a very good explanation. Hmm. Well, alright, I guess, I guess it gave a little bit of insight. It's just something that she sort of did, that she sort of had in mind to do her whole life. I guess I can kind of understand that. Hmm. Especially if you grew up in like a military family, you know? Any notes? See, see, the difference between this game and Amnesia Machine for Pigs is I'm actively seeking out notes to read. Because I want to read them. Oh, look. It's, he, he's got all sorts of uh, sticky notes in there. Wait, no, there's a man. I want to read the manuscript. Hi. Right. The accidental human, he started working on another one. Strong Pines, a couple's counseling retreat. Oh, good. Things were looking a little rough for a while, but things are looking up for them now. From the pen of Terrence L. Greenbrier. All right, fancy pants. Dear Kaz, I can't tell you what a joy it is to see John Russell back in print. Thank you very much for sending, sending, along copies of the new editions. The cover art is really something. I know you've said that Unknown Dimension isn't in the business of printing new material, but this revived interest in my work has brought on a wave of inspiration, resulting in a manuscript that completes John Russell's journey, which I think you may find intriguing. It is reflective and introspective, without forgetting the excitement and weirdness that Unknown Dimension readers expect. I hope this might be an exciting new direction for Unknown Dimension to pursue, at the very least. I am grateful that John Russell's adventures didn't come to an end quite when I thought they had. My thanks and regards, Terrence L. Greenbrier. Well, that's good. Glad to hear it, Terry. You derp. Cover copy. It's been almost 20 years since John Russell heard the call. Twice he saved the president's life. He's practically forgotten the days of the future, of danger and excitement. The days where he mattered. So when that familiar rip in time opens in front of him and his handlers peer out, he doesn't hesitate. Is the president in danger? No. The life you save this time will be your own. That's hilarious. Oh, what a cliche. It's awesome. Ah, oh, gosh. Where will do it? What? Secret door, midnight June 5th. Final preparations are complete. We agreed our last night together would be our happiest ever. And we'd forget tomorrow was going to come at all. We worked for a while. We had a good time seeing Oscar off. Then ran up to the attic to look through our photos. To find one for Lonnie to take with her. And looking at them, I realized they were all in the past. And there wouldn't be any more. I didn't know what I was going to do. And I cried. And she held me. She said she knew it was hard, but life would move on. I said I didn't want my life to keep moving without her. That's when she cried too. I was so exhausted. I must have fallen asleep like that, in her arms. In the morning, I woke up, and I was finally alone. Hmm. Wait, where is this? Oh, right by the stairs. Ah. Yeah, what is the deal? 
Oh. Hello, pentagram. Okay. Hi, Oscar. You're weird. I guess I'll leave it up. Oh, attic key. The sunset light in this house is the saddest thing I've ever seen. I just want to sleep. When I'm in the attic, it almost feels like Lonnie could still be here. She's just downstairs. I'm just waiting to hear her pull down the hatch and come running up. Maybe I'll go up to the attic. And wait. Hmm. Releasing unwanted spirits. Oh, they said goodbye to Oscar. They exercised Oscar. That's what this that's what she meant. Okay. I mean I get that now, but. Alright, so on our way up to the attic. She's gonna wait for her. I really don't want to walk up there to her hanging from a noose. Ugh. All right, here goes. Okay. Sam. Buddy? Sister? You up here? Sam, I'll always remember what we had. I love you, Lonnie. Hmm. Oh my god. Katie. Uh, I fell asleep in the attic. In Lonnie in my old spot. And I missed the first two calls. I just barely caught the third one before the machine got it. And it was Lonnie. On a payphone. She'd been on the bus to basic and she said she couldn't... She couldn't think of anything but me. And us. And that she couldn't go through with it. With the army and being a part and all of it. And so she got off the bus in Salem. She said, Sam, I want you to pack up everything you can. And get in your car and come find me. And let's just drive until we find somewhere for us. And she asked me if I could do that. And I said, yes. Yes. Great. So you're not here anymore. Good. I don't have to worry about you being dead. Mmm. Aw. Look at that. Whose black nail polish is that? Oh, it's red. Okay. Okay. What, what bottle is this? Stop bath! Bisulfate stop bath! Oh, you know. Just a stop bath. What about this? Alkaline fixer. Not that I know anything about what these things are. Hmm. Photographic paper. Get it. Hmm, okay. It's just photo paper. Crazy. What is this? Letters to Katie. Katie, I'm so sorry that I can't be there to see you in person, that I can't tell you all this myself. But I hope as you read this journal and you think back, that you'll understand why I had to do what I did and that you won't be sad and you won't hate me and you'll just know that I am where I need to be. I love you so much, Katie. I'll see you again someday. cool I actually enjoyed that I think it was a relaxing 
fun little experience. I don't know if it was worth 20 bucks though. <laughs> Um, nevertheless, the download link is in the description, or rather the link that will take you to, uh, uh, the Steam thing. Um, wow, person's name Sarah voiced both the, uh, main characters. Featuring the music of Heavens to Betsy, Bratmobile, and the Youngins. Interesting, so these are actual bands. Well, I'm sorry for insulting you. <laughs> And that's just not really my type of type of stuff, I guess. I thought it was just like music that they created for the game. <laughs> uh, okay, well, um, yeah, I enjoyed this actually. It wasn't really what I expected, but well, it was in some ways, and it was, it, it, and it wasn't in some others. But uh, I did, I certainly didn't expect to sit down for three hours and play through the entire thing in one sitting, which I ended up doing, so I've got to go to bed now. But, um, yeah, this was cool. I hope you guys enjoyed it too, and I will see you guys later. Think critically.